Hello and welcome to Learn English, Love English. Today we're diving into a fascinating scene from William Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. Act 2, scene 8, is full of excitement. In this scene, Salarino and Solanio discuss recent events in Venice. They mention how Bassanio has sailed away, taking Gratiano with him, but without Lorenzo. Solanio talks about how Shylock, the Jewish moneylender, was furious when he found out that his daughter Jessica had eloped with Lorenzo, a Christian, and taken a lot of his money and jewels with her. Shylock was absolutely enraged. His daughter Jessica, gone with a Christian and all that wealth. It's quite the scandal. My own flesh and blood turned against me and all my treasures stolen. Father, I had to follow my heart. Lorenzo and I, we had to be together. Shylock was so angry that he woke up the Duke to complain and demand justice. However, by the time I started searching the ships, it was too late, and Bassanio's ship had already sailed. Someone informed the Duke that Lorenzo and Jessica were seen together in a gondola. Solanio then describes how Shylock went through the streets, shouting in anger and confusion about his daughter and his lost money. He cried out, my daughter, my ducats, over and over again, showing his mixed feelings of losing both his daughter and his wealth. Salarino adds that boys in Venice were mocking Shylock by repeating his cries about his daughter and his ducats. Solanio then worries about Antonio, suggesting that if Antonio doesn't repay Shylock's loan on time, Shylock might seek revenge. If Antonio doesn't repay Shylock's loan on time, Shylock might seek revenge. I heard from a Frenchman that a Venetian ship was wrecked in the English Channel. I fear it might be Antonio's ship. You should tell Antonio this news carefully to avoid upsetting him. Antonio is such a kind man. He loves Bassanio deeply, almost as if Bassanio is the only reason he cares about life. Yes, let's go find Antonio and try to cheer him up. He is likely sad after Bassanio's departure. That wraps up our exploration of Act 2, Scene 8 from The Merchant of Venice. We hope you enjoyed this dive into Shakespeare's world and learned something new along the way. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Learn English, Love English for more literary insights and language lessons. Keep practicing and remember, the more you engage with English, the more confident you'll become. See you in the next video.